So what is a tibial plateau fracture? A fracture or break in the upper part of the shin bone, the tibia, may be the result of a low impact injury, such as a fall or from a high impact injury, such as a motor vehicle accident. Proper identification and management of these injuries will help to restore limb function, such as strength, motion, and stability, and reduce the overall risks of arthritis. The bone comprising the tibial plateau is cantilous, or crunchy, as opposed to the thicker cortical bone of tibial shaft. Whether the injury is treated with surgery or without, both the bony injury or the fracture and any soft tissue injuries must be treated together. Fractures that involve the upper fourth of the lower leg, or tibia, may or may not involve the knee joint. Fractures that enter the knee joint may render the joint imperfect and the joint surface irregular. Additionally, these fractures may result in improper limb alignment. Either of these factors may contribute to excessive joint wear, which can cause arthritis, instability, and loss of motion. Where a fracture is located within the knee and how much it is displaced is referred to as its pattern. The pattern of a fracture is determined by the force of the injury, in addition to how and where that force is applied to the limb. There are several symptoms of a tibial plateau fracture. Pain when bearing weight, tenseness and swelling around the knee, resulting in the limitation of leg bending, deformity around the knee, pale, cool foot, numbness around the foot, numbness or the feeling of pins and needles within the region of the foot raises concern about whether nerve injury or excessive swelling within the leg has occurred. If these symptoms are present after a fracture, you should have an assessment done in the emergency room as soon as possible. In rare instances, soft tissue swelling may be so severe that it threatens the blood supply to the leg and foot, a condition referred to as compartment syndrome. This may require emergency surgery in which vertical incisions are made to release the skin and muscle coverings, also known as a fasciotomy. These incisions are often left open and then closed or covered days or weeks later as the soft tissues recover and swelling resolves. If the condition of the soft tissues is such that the application of a cast or splint would be unwise, an external fixator may be considered. With this device, often temporary, Pins are inserted above and below the joint. These pins exit the skin and are connected by bars, which stabilize the knee joint. Non-surgical treatment may include restrictions on motion and weight bearing, in addition to the application of external devices, such as braces or casts. Typically, the soft tissues are assessed, and x-rays are taken at prescribed intervals. Knee motion and weight bearing begin as the injury and method of treatment allow. If surgical treatment is elected, several devices may be considered. In some cases where the upper one-fourth of the tibia is broken, but the joint is intact, a rod or plate may be used to stabilize the fracture. A rod is placed in the hollow cavity in the center of the bone, whereas a plate is placed on the external surface of the bone. Plates are commonly used for fractures that enter the joint. If the fracture enters the joint and depresses the bone, lifting the bone fragments may be required to restore joint function. Lifting these fragments, however, creates a defect or hole in the cantilus or crunchy bone of the region. This defect must be filled with material to keep the joint from collapsing. This material can be a bone graft from the patient or from a bone bank. Synthetic or naturally occurring products which stimulate bone healing can also be used. To further stabilize this area, a plate with screws is applied. In some cases, the condition of the soft tissue is so poor that the use of a plate or rod might threaten it further. An external fixator, described under emergency care above, may then be considered as final treatment. The external fixator is removed when the injury is healed.